You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I have another package of Tim Tams. These are the double chocolate vanilla from Arnott's. Nine biscuits inside. Now, the last time I did these, I had a lot of people say, very nicely, by the way, thank you very much, you should do the Tim Tam Slam. Well, I had to research that because I'm not familiar with that. And then I found out that, yes, there's a lot of controversy because people don't do it a certain way and you should do it this way and not that way. So I get confused and then I think, hmm, should I attempt it or not? But I'm going to give it a shot here because after I looked at it, I thought it's very much like eating an Oreo cookie. But... A very unique way. So let's get into this here. And then everybody can tell me what I did wrong or didn't do wrong. Now as far as drinks, a lot of people say tea, a lot of people say coffee. Um, so there they are. So basically you're taking this, you're biting off opposite corners a little bit. And then you're using this as your straw. So I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see what how it works. Whoa, it worked great. Okay, let me explain that experience to you. Now, the super hot coffee which I have with Santa Claus on it, hmm, just happened to grab it. When you drink that super hot coffee through the cookie, the biscuit side, it softens real quick, almost to the point where it could be a mushy mess if you don't slam it in your mouth right away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to slam it in my mouth. I'm going to slam it down there so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm just going to bite off opposite corners. And I'm going to slam it down right there. Here we go. There. That is what happens. Let me get my dissection tool. The biscuit, which is normally hard, becomes this quickly mushed, softened cookie. So imagine now, you take an Oreo cookie, you float it in your beverage or your milk or whatever, then you take it out, it's very soft. That's exactly what's going on here. I also read you could do with other kinds of biscuits. So let me just, does that make anybody disgusting? I'm sorry, are you disgusted by that? I apologize. But it was one way for me to show you. So let's just say I take a Tim Tam and I break it, I float it. Okay, so that's kind of bubbling there. And I need to get a spoon, which I didn't prepare for. Oh, I got a little crazy fork here. So let's take it out and see. Oops, it's floating. Now that was floating in there. It's still a little hard. See that? It didn't soak all the way through. So the goal then, look at that, how hard that is. When I did it with the straw method, then it was very, it was quick, almost instant. And that's why I... The object is to slam it in your mouth. Now, I'm not going to eat that, okay? And I'm not going to eat that, but I'm going to look at it. How about a close-up of my Tim Tam Slam? Mmm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I just bit off a little piece. That one I just cracked, and it's just mushy, but those are good. Now I'm going to sip some coffee to... All right, so let's make this the Tim Tam question and answer. Coffee or tea? Which kind of Tim Tam? Do you have a preference? Is there a favorite Tim Tam? Like, is there a coffee-flavored Tim Tam you use with coffee? Because when I think of chocolate and tea, those are two that I don't normally mix. But I taste a lot of chocolate that has coffee in it, so I know those two are a good mix. But other than that, I think... Uh, 
The Tim Tams are super tasty. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my version of the Tim Tam Slam. Again, it's Arnott's Tim Tam Double Chocolate Vanilla. Eee, stuck there. Eee. If you want to see other videos from this series, this is basically from our Australian candy series, right? We'll have a link in the description. You can click on that, or you can always just search Lucky Penny Shop. So let's hear it. Coffee, tea, any particular kind of Tim Tam with a special liquid that you like, or a beverage, whatever you want to call it. Let all let us know in that. Let us know all that in the comment area. And again, thanks for watching. Well, actually, for the first time, thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.